Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss the solution for today's Geeks for Geeks problem of the day. And this problem is find the string and it is labeled as a hard level problem. But uh, I solved it now, but it was not very difficult. The only thing which confused me a lot was uh, if you see when I compile this, uh, the compilation result is 10. Right? So in the problem, the problem statement asks us to return a string but uh, the output was 10 and uh, after a, like after a lot, lot of time i figured out that uh, they are actually implementing some kind of checker function and they are just outputting the size of the string right so this was not uh, very optimal for me like it, I, it took me a lot of time to like understand this problem and uh, that is why i didn't i'm not uploading the screencast part because it would be very long so anyways, uh, we are just going to discuss how we can solve this problem. It says that uh, we have been given two strings n and k and our task is to find the string of minimum length such that all possible strings of length n as a substring exist. Right. So basically, I will uh, explain you it in a better manner. So let us say these are the values n is equals to 2 and k is equals to 3. Right. So if n is equals to 2 and k is equals to 3, that means we have to form first of all all strings of length 2. Right, and it can consist of digits from 0, 1, and 2. So, for all strings from of digit of size 2, the strings will be 0, 0, then 0, 1, then 0, 2, and then like uh, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, and then finally 2, 0, 2, 1, and 2. Right, these will be uh, these will be all the strings of length 2 consisting of digits 0, 1, and 2. Right now. From this part, uh, while observing the test case, one part was apparent that there must be some way, there must exist some way to find out a string in a specific size. So, what that size is, let us say you take the first string, right, 0, 0, right. From this string, you can exactly remove one character from the beginning and add one character from the end and it will be a new string, this one, right. So, if I continue this, if I take the first string, so the size is 2, size is 2, the total strings were 9, right, and I wrote 1 already, so there is only 8 remaining, and for each of them, I only have to add one character, right, so the total size will be 2 plus 8, 10, right, and this was also consistent with this particular uh, sample test case, where there will be 2 raised to power 2, a total of 4 strings, the first one will take 2 spaces, and then there will be 3 remaining, so 1, 2, 3, so the answer should have been 5, right. So you see again, the size of the string is 5. So from this observation, it was clear to me that there must exist some way so that we can exactly remove one character from the beginning and one char add, add one character to the end, so we can find a new string, right. Now, uh, how do we actually do this, which character to remove, which character to add was not found yet and it has to be some kind of greedy solution, right. So, what I did was, uh, I initially tried taking all the characters. So, let us say it was 0, 0, but if after it, if I take 0, 1, right, so that would be the next character, right, because if 0, 0 has been taken, now I want to add something in front of 0, so that would be 1. Now, I already have 1, I can add uh, 0 to it, 0 in front of it, right, because 0, 0 is completed, now 0, 1 is here completed, now I have a number 1. I have to write something in front of it, so let me just write 0, right, so that 1, 0 is completed. Now again 0 comes into picture because this is the second character, so I can like add 2 in front of it, so it will be 0, 2, right. Now I will have this particular 2, now can I write 0 in front of it, yes, because 2, 0 has not been done yet, but the problem with uh, this part will be, I cannot take this 0 and extend it further, right, I cannot write 0 here. Because 0, 0 is completed, 0, 1 is completed, 0, 2 is completed. So, there is nothing that starts with 0 here. So, this greedy approach failed. Why? Because we uh, encounter a state where I cannot add one single character and continue my cycle. So, instead, what I did was, I started from 0, 0, right. But now, instead of adding the smallest number, I am adding the largest number, right. So, let me just add 2. So, till now, I have covered 0, 0 and I have covered... Uh, 0 2 right so the starting part is now 2 what can i add here let me just add the greatest number possible that is 2 so that is 2 here right now i again have 2 
so the greatest number possible now will be 1 because 2 2 is taken so i am going to take 2 1 right so 2 1 is here now 1 will be here the next number so the greatest number possible will be 1 2 right so i write 1 2 and again 2 is here so uh, 2 2 has been completed 2 1 has been completed now 2 0 will be taken care of right so 2 0 comes here now again comes 0 so from 0 we have completed 0 0 we have not completed 0 2 right so i write 0 2 right so now 2 comes here right again starting from 2 2 2 we have completed 2 0 we have completed we have not completed 2 1 so we write 1 here now we have 1 here again so we have completed 1 2 we have completed we have not completed 1 1 yet right so we write 1 here now again 1 and then 0 so you see this is a string of size 10 and all the combinations have been completed so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 it is coming out to be 11 so we must have missed something 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 there is one extra here we have just written something twice so we have written 2 1 twice right so this 2 1 should not be here so it is here right so it is 0 0 2 2 1 2 0 2 and instead of writing 2 1 we have written 2 2 we have written 2 1 already we have written 2 0 already so we cannot have anything starting from 2 right so we need to change it Uh, I believe I have missed something right here. So it is 0, 0 starting from here 2, 2, then 1, 2, 2, 0, 0, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, and then 1, 2, then 2, 0, then 0. Okay, so the problem lies here only. So 0, 2 was also completed earlier. So 0, 2 should not be here. Right. So, 2, 2, 1, 2, 0. So, 0, 2 has been completed. Now, 0, 1 has not been completed yet. Right. So, I write 0, 1. Now, starting from 1, starting from 1, 1, 2 has been completed. 1, 1 has not been completed. And now, 1, 1, 2 has been completed. 1, 0 has been completed. 1, 2, 1, 1 and 1, 0. Right. So, the mistake was actually here. So, 2, 0, 0 2 should not have been here because 0, 2 is already completed here. Right. So, now, let us just count 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Yeah, so this is now a string of size 10. So, like you have to be careful while testing out these things because it is very easy to make mistakes like these. So, anyways, uh, the approach was like you could have greedily taken the greatest element to add next, right? So, the first one is going to be 0, 0. After then, you greedily replace the last element and uh, try to form the string, right? So, let me just like uh, show you my code. So what I have done is, I have created a DFS function. Although you can name it anything, it is not specifically DFS. What I want to do is, I want my start in uh, start position to be 0, 0, 0, 0, right? That is that was going to be my start value. So now my answer string is also equal to start, and I start my DFS, right? Now I'm just going to insert this particular node into my D, uh, visited vector, visited set, and I'm just going to calculate the next string. Right. So, for calculating the next string, I told you that we are going to remove the first character and add some character to the end. So, removing the first character is easy. I just take the substring starting from position 1. Now, I am traversing through all the possible uh, values that I can add at the last and that is going to be k minus 1 to greater than 0. Right. Greater than minus 1. So, 0 will also be included. So, I am trying to add all the values and I am calculating what could be the next possible string. Now, if this possible string has not been visited, I just add this last character to my answer and call my DFS on the side. So it is exactly what I have explained you. What we are doing is we are starting from 0, 0, 0, 0 and uh, we are just trying to replace the last character. So that was it for this video. Let me just quickly submit this and show you that this particular solution works. So you see passes all the discusses and the solution is absolutely correct. I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So that is it for today. Uh, till the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye-bye.